I'm Jessica Mafia. Welcome to my studio. I'm excited to share with you my mural in process. I picked the American Robin because it's the most ubiquitous bird. We are all familiar with that. It's everywhere and that's kind of a theme in my work generally. I work with things of the everyday, the overlooked, the familiar. And the Robin in particular I thought would be a noteworthy bird to choose because if the Robin, who we see every day, is threatened by climate change, then we are in serious trouble. The way it happened is I was pacing the park, Highbridge Park, which is just two blocks from my studio. It's this long, narrow park, and it's one of the less maintained, probably among the least maintained park in Manhattan. I'm walking, I'm thinking, what should I do with this mural? And I look down, and there's a river of glass in the dirt path, and the glass calls out to me, use us, use us. So I decide to make a mural out of recycled glass. We go out, we collect the glass several times a week, color coordinate them. It helps to clean up the park. And it's become this really community-minded project where I get like wonderful volunteers like you, me, and other local artists, but also people just passing by who are really interested in what, are you, what on earth are you doing every day digging in the dirt? So people come and join me. Very collaborative process. And then there's an involved cleaning process because the park's really dirty. There's a lot going on. There are a lot of syringes and other things. I boil them, I soak them in vinegar, I power wash them. But also I think there's something to be said for the quantity of alcohol that is in this park and it speaks to like a greater phenomenon of pain and suffering. This is a, a historically low income of immigrants and immigrants of color. And it's just really stark how poorly maintained this park is compared to say Central Park. Instead of depicting the robin itself, a figurative bird, I decided to work with this robin song because it's something that exists all around us without us maybe even noticing. It's my best attempt. <laughs> this whole idea is that the robin is, you know, being displaced. So the robin itself is absent from the mirror. So I'm writing the robin's song in the form of a spectrogram, which is the graph that is used to mark the frequency and pitch of sound. So it's like the robin's language. So that's highlighted in the clear glass and in the mirrors. And then the hands, I want to cast the hands of local residents, particularly people who care about the environment or passionate about nature, in a pose of welcoming or embracing or reaching out as a counterpoint to the displacement that climate change is threatening. The only thing that I can do is these small acts. Raising awareness, recycling, getting my neighbors to compost, doing the small things that individuals can do. We won't do anything about it if we don't care. There's like this whole amazing world to fall in love with. Our bird neighbors, our trees. So that's how I see my role.